higher. This complex number problem, you see that we have to find out the modulus of Z, okay, the, and or the absolute value, right? Uh, stating that they are related to each other in this uh, particular form, right? So let's consider it. So here it is given that, that relation is given as mod Z plus Z, and that's equal to 3 plus I. So now, uh, we are going to calculate mod Z, right? So let's assume some number. So let mod Z is equal to the number A and obviously that is a real number, right? Because any complex number you can see that the mod Z will be a real number. It's actually represent the distance of the complex number from the origin, right? Okay, so let's write, <coughs> write down that. So it's became A plus Z that's equal to 3 plus I which imply that my complex number Z must be equal to 3 minus A plus I. So this is the complex number, right? Now we can again take the modulus. So what is mod J here? So therefore mod J is definitely equal to square root of A squared. So 3 minus A whole square plus 1 square. Now what is mod J? We consider it as A, right? So directly we can write that then A square here that's equal to 3 minus A whole square plus 1. Now see that, now it becomes a real number quadratic equation kind of problem. So let's try to solve it. So in left hand side it's A square, this is 9 plus A square minus 6A plus 1. So which imply that 6a is equal to 10, which imply that a is equal to 10 divided by 6 is equal to 5 divided by 3. So that's it. So here uh, for this particular problem, the modulus of z is definitely 5 by 3 and that's it. So for this problem, obviously then option B is the correct answer which is a very simple problem and see this simple thing is came in 2019 main paper, JE main paper. So hope you understood this problem. Thank you.